A breaking report coming out of Washington, D.C., indicates that President Donald Trump's new communications director Anthony Scaramucci has already caught a traitor, suspected of leaking sensitive information to the press. Now, many are shocked to learn this person even landed a job in the White House, to begin with, after what he did during Trump's presidential campaign, and Scaramucci is wasting no time making an example out of him. According to Breitbart, Scaramucci made the shocking revelation to Politico reporter Tara Palmer on Tuesday, July 25, 2017. Michael Short, a close ally to White House Chief of Staff Ryan Priebus, was fired Tuesday morning by Scaramucci, who also told Politico, I'm committed to taking the comms shop down to Sarah Huckabee Sanders and me if I can't get the leaks to stop. Palmer's report goes on to reveal details of Short's conduct during Trump's presidential campaign, which ultimately led to his departure from post months before the election. Breitbart reports that Short was invited to work on the Trump campaign by Priebus and quit after the Access Hollywood tape came out. According to Politico, Short walked out in the middle of the campaign leaving his computer behind only to show back up in January at the behest of the Republican National Committee, RNC allies in the White House. The fact that Short was even allowed into the White House is indicative of how things were being done by Trump's chief of staff, Priebus. This could be the very reason Trump has encountered so many problems getting control over his own private communications. When a betrayal of this magnitude takes place, I think it is appropriate to fire the traitor but examine closely who entrusted that person with sensitive information. In this case, that would be Priebus. Many of Trump's close anti-establishment allies such as Steve Bannon have always disagreed with Priebus being given the position of chief of staff. Now, apprehension over Priebus' position has been validated. Even more interesting is the complete denial on Short's part of any inappropriate leaking. According to Politico, Short stated he had not been involved in any leaks. Allegations I ever leaked anything are demonstrably false, he said. However, Breitbart reports that multiple sources from within the White House have said that Short was a leaker and that he worked closely alongside former White House Deputy Chief of Staff Katie Walsh, who was also dismissed for suspected leaking. In regard to his dismissal, Short said, I have not been informed of any decision. Perhaps now that Short's firing is plastered all over the news, he will get a general idea that he's being let go. He's being outsourced. They aren't picking up his options, they are going in a different direction, or something similar. He might not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but he definitely appears to be a tool. In an effort to save what is left of his tattered integrity, Short told Breitbart in an email, I have never leaked. In addition, he even responded to the fake news network CNN and said, No one has told me anything and the entire premise is false. Well, it looks like Short is just the first of several who may be terminated in the days to come according to Scaramucci. In just his first few days as Trump's communications director, he has made a tremendous impact, and for that, we are thankful. May he find the rest of the traitorous leakers in the White House and give them as much consideration as they gave to our Commander-in-Chief and our country. Please share the story and tell us what you think by clicking one of the buttons below. We want to hear your voice.